Methods of control of air pollutants. In this video, we look at methods of control for the following air pollutants, starting with carbon monoxide, then the oxides of nitrogen, sulfur dioxide, particulates, and finally volatile organic compounds. So we'll start with carbon monoxide. Lean burn engines lower carbon monoxide emissions by using a higher air to fuel ratio. Oxidation catalysts in lean burn engines convert carbon monoxide to carbon dioxide. A three-way catalytic converter oxidizes carbon monoxide to carbon dioxide, hydrocarbons to water and carbon dioxide, and they also reduce nitrogen monoxide to nitrogen gas. And here we have the equation for the chemical reaction that occurs in a catalytic converter. We have carbon monoxide and nitrogen monoxide, and they react together to form carbon dioxide and nitrogen gas. And this occurs in the presence of a catalyst and heat. And here we have a diagram of a three-way catalytic converter. HC is hydrocarbon, CO is carbon monoxide, and we have the oxides of nitrogen. They enter the catalytic converter, and the outputs are water, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen gas. The next method of control for carbon monoxide is a thermal exhaust reactor and it uses the heat of the exhaust gases enabling carbon monoxide to react with more air to produce carbon dioxide. Unburned hydrocarbons are oxidized to carbon dioxide and water. So here's the equation for carbon monoxide reacting with oxygen to give you carbon dioxide and here's the equation for unburnt hydrocarbons reacting with oxygen and they oxidize to carbon dioxide and water. Nitrogen oxides. Lean burn engines lower nitrogen oxide emissions by using higher air to fuel ratios. Nitrogen oxide emissions can be reduced using a three-way catalytic converter by reducing nitrogen monoxide to nitrogen gas. So here's the reaction that occurs in a three-way catalytic converter. We have carbon monoxide reacting with nitrogen monoxide in the presence of a catalyst and heat to produce carbon dioxide and nitrogen gas. And another way to reduce nitrogen oxide emissions is something called exhaust gas recirculation. And it recirculates exhaust gases back into the engine, which lowers operating temperature and reduces nitrogen oxide emissions. Sulfur dioxides. Pre-combustion methods remove sulfur from coal before combustion by crushing the ore and washing with water. Post-combustion methods remove sulfur dioxide after combustion from exhaust gases. The two post-combustion methods are alkaline scrubbing and fluidized bed combustion. So we'll look at alkaline scrubbing first. In alkaline scrubbing, an alkaline mixture is sprayed downwards into the exhaust gases. Alkaline mixtures include calcium oxide or calcium carbonate. So in this equation here, we have calcium oxide reacting with sulfur dioxide to give you calcium sulfate 4. And we also have calcium carbonate reacting with sulfur dioxide to give you calcium sulfate 4 and carbon dioxide gas. And then the calcium sulfate 4 can be reacted with oxygen to give you calcium sulfate 6, which can be used to make plasterboard or disposed of in a landfill site. Next is fluidized bed combustion. In the fluidized combustion method, coal is mixed with powdered limestone, which is calcium carbonate, on a metal plate. So we have calcium carbonate and it decomposes to give you calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas. And then the calcium oxide reacts with the sulfur dioxide to give you calcium sulfate 4. And you can also have calcium oxide reacting with sulfur dioxide and oxygen to give you calcium sulfate 6. Sulfur dioxide can also be reduced by burning coal with a low sulfur content. Particulates. Particulates are removed from the air naturally by gravitational settling and by precipitation in rain or snow. Other methods include settling tanks, 
electrostatic precipitation and wet scrubbing. Settling tanks allow dust to settle out by gravity. Electrostatic precipitation involves making particulates negatively charged and collecting them on positively charged plates. Particulates can be removed by scrubbing with clean water, which is wet scrubbing. Volatile organic compounds. Hydrocarbon emissions can be reduced by using an oxidation catalytic converter or a three-way catalytic converter. The hydrocarbon is oxidized to water and carbon dioxide. And finally, we have a summary. So we have the air pollutant and the method of control. Starting with carbon monoxide, we can use a thermal exhaust reactor, a three-way catalytic converter, or we can use a lean burn engine. For nitrogen oxides, it's a catalytic converter, a lean burn engine, or recirculation of exhaust gases. For sulfur dioxide, you can remove the sulfur before combustion. You can use alkaline scrubbing or fluidized bed combustion. For particulates, we can use gravity, settling chambers, electrostatic precipitators, or wet scrubbers. And for volatile organic compounds, we can use a catalytic converter.